So let's get started on this project by simply opening our Docker Compose file in a text editor. As you can see, I have two services configured in my stack. The first one is Jellyfin, the second one is Heimdall. And if I run the command Docker images in this created column, you can see the last time that this image was updated on the local machine. And in my case, for example, the Heimdall image was last updated eight days ago. So it's a little bit out of date if you compare it to the GitHub repository where you can see that there actually has been a release uh, as of yesterday. And instead of having to manually update this, we're going to be using a container called Watchtower to automatically update this in a specified interval so that we always have the newest image right here. Stay tuned to find out how it's done. So once you've gone ahead and pasted this service into your Docker Compose stack from the description, all you need to do is run docker compose up-d and it'll pull the image. Once that's done, we'll take a look at what the logs say to see whether or not it's working. So let's go ahead and run a Docker PS to view all the running containers. And as you can see, Watchtower has been pulled and started. So I'm going to copy this container name from the overview and type in Docker logs followed by the container name. And in these logs, you can see a line right here, found new Linux server IO slash Heimdall image, stopping Heimdall and creating Heimdall again. So it appears as if it's been updated and that it's temporarily been stopped and started um, using the new, newest image. So let's actually check our Docker images. And as you can see right here, Heimdall has been updated as of 25 hours ago, which corresponds with the release uh, I showed on GitHub uh, a few seconds ago. So that works really well. So there's some more uh, settings that you can tweak, like changing this interval right here from 30 seconds or adding a configuration.json. But I feel like for 90% of people, this is just fine. And I really hope I could help you with this video. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing would be greatly appreciated. Any of these will help the growth of the channel. Thank you, and until next time.